football bunch. You've been, you've been asked and answered thousands of questions about mm -hmm. the team and the process. But if I were to ask you, what happened with the last 12 months for you on a personal level? What would you, how would you describe that? Um, on a personal level, uh, uh, lots to be thankful for. Um, got to be a manager again, <clears throat> something I wanted to do again. And um, got an opportunity to do this. And and can't believe how well it went for this franchise. So, um, as I said, I, I feel like we got lots to be thankful for. It's been great for my family. It's been a great experience for all of us, and it was nice to have them here tonight to do this. And this is pretty neat. Um, we're all going for the Stanley Cup, but when you win an award like this along the way, it, it means a lot. George, how special was it to see four players from your, four people from your organization come away with five players? Well, I, it, 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 that sure means a lot as well. To, to you know, a year ago we were trying to uh, pick a team, and and today we we're talking about <clears throat> getting to the finals and four people from our organization being nominated, and all four won. And that's certainly. Uh, not to take anything away from the other candidates, but Gerard did such a phenomenal job, and 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 Derek did a, a great job. I was thrilled uh, when Will won because that was one that I wasn't sure we would we would get, but was really happy for him. How special is it to see also, you know, a lot of these awards here are recognized for on ice accolades, but whether it's Masterton or the Clancy or the Messier Leadership Award. You know, this sport recognizes players for what they do off the ice, and how important is that to the community? Well, it's <clears throat> I think the, one of the best qualities we have in, in NHL hockey players, how much they give, and, and we all know it, it feels a lot. It feels a lot better to give um, than to take or to receive or be given things. Um, and it is amazing watch, when you watch the young men up there; they're associated with the game. The way they, they carry themselves, the way they uh, explain things and, and talk about things, they are just remarkable young men, and we're, we're so fortunate to have them. Um, and it certainly goes for the guys in our club as well. What they did in the aftermath of October 1 and what they've done in so many ways in this community um, really made um, a big difference in this community, I believe, in uplifting the community. and and trying to help them, this community heal and persevere. So um, we're very, very fortunate to, to have these young men. And we're all trying to win championships, but we all know it's a, it's a lot more than that. George, what do you do for an encore? <clears throat> I don't know. We uh, we do our best in trying to win the Stanley Cup because that's, that would be the ultimate. That's what we would all love to do. Uh, both you and Gerard spoke a lot about picking good people for this team. How difficult was that, uh, just choosing from the pool and uh, pointing figures, this is a good guy, this is a good guy? Well, it, it, it takes a lot of work. It's, it's not hard when you're actually doing it, when you feel like you've got the right person. We did go by some people that may have been more talented, but we, we wanted uh, the right personalities, the right people here. And 99.5% of the people in the NHL are, are really the right people. Um, but we um, uh, we put a lot into that, and it's an intangible that's hard to describe. And but you know it when you see it. And we had a good group, and it, it was those intangibles that really carried this team a long way because all the other teams were more talented than we were. How, how proud were you to see that come to fruition, though? Like to to know you basically hit a home run with every pick to get up to the Stanley Cup final. Well, it, it was really hard for me to believe, to be honest with you. <clears throat> Every month, I was like, "Boy, is this is this really happening?" And, and uh, as I've said a number of times, I had my fingers crossed all year, hoping it wouldn't turn to dust. The next week, we kept winning, and then we won a round, and then we won another round, and then we won another round. And I was like, "This is too good to be true. We might win the Stanley Cup," and uh, and then we didn't. And then you, you come back down to earth. But it was just a an extraordinary year in all of our lives. Did you need to add a lot more talent throughout the coming up seasons, or can you keep playing with a team that you can say is not the most talented in the league? Uh, that's a good question, and um, 
And that's part of the debate. You know, what kind of model do you go with? And and so let's see how things go, and you'll know which way we went. <laughs> William Carlson said you did a really good job of establishing or building, bringing in character guys. What did you see in William's character that made you want to take him when he was a vet? Well, you ask a lot of questions. Um, of teammates, people that have played with them before, and you, we did that with all of our athletes. Um, if someone on our staff knew them, uh, that helped. But we, we did a lot of work, and it just was a really tremendous experience to um, be working with so many quality interview uh, individuals, um, and just so many guys that never had a bad day. You know, and we would have, we would ask some of them when they came in. Have you ever had a bad day? Because they were just so upbeat all the time. It was just a really pleasant thing to experience, and it was it was nice to be able to experiment that way.